guys and welcome to another unboxing and this time a review of the new Ottawak Tarantula. Now Ottawak is a brand that I featured on my channel several times including the Atore and the Cobra and they're known for making like weird time displays like those hyper brands like Urwerk and MBNF but at prices that us normal people can afford because getting those originals like you have to be super rich and even then you're gonna be wondering whether or not it's worth the money. That's how much those things cost. Well, Ottawak is bringing that down and their first attempts were pretty simple, straightforward until they reached Cobra where they actually made a wandering hour system, which was impressive. And I'll put probably a couple of, of, of clips and a link to that full review. And that watch was amazing when it comes to the time display, but sadly it was pretty much unwearable. It was like having a spaceship on your wrist. Not so much the size, but the actual shape and the weight it set on my wrist. It was less wearable than like the biggest and most... <laughs> Oh, and the weirdest G-Shock you can imagine. Well, with the Tarantula, they're trying to fix that. So let's check out the box first, and then we're gonna move on to the watch. The, wax, uh, the, the box is pretty luxurious, as you would expect from Adawak. So you have like the outer cardboard box, and inside you have this high polish lacquered wood box. So let's get that out, because this also hides an additional strap. Each watch comes with two straps. One is gonna be black one, and the other one is gonna be color matched to the watch. The watch comes in a couple of color variants. You have a blue, a red one, and a green one. This one is a green one. So as you can see, the box is pretty luxurious. Comes with this buckle, or how you wanna call it. Once you open it, everything inside has this fake leatherette, and the watch comes on a pillow. And even here, they like, have a lot of attention to detail because the pillow actually comes in two sizes. Something very important for people like me. I have a pretty small wrist, so if I have a watch that's on a bracelet, once I size it, I usually can't put it back into its original box because of the pillow, but with this one, you slide out this outer part and get a smaller pillow where it can fit. Also, another thing they improved over that one, not only because of the wearability and size, is the actual strap. It comes with this quick release, fold over buckle and quick release system for uh, taking off the strap. So this one is color matched to the watch and you simply pull it here. When you pull it, it pulls in the, the spring bars and you can take it out. When you wanna put it back in, you again pull this so you don't scratch the case, put it in release and the spring bars come out and catch into the into the holes very cool now as i said this is much more wearable than the other model as you can see it's called tarantula it comes with a 49 millimeter lug to lug 42 millimeter diameter and just 13.5 millimeter thickness whereas that one i believe was like 18 or even 20 in its highest point and this one is actually shaped to follow the contour of your wrist on the underside you can see the movement which is a modified miyota 9039 beating at 28,800 bph coming with both hacking and hand winding and it comes with this skeletonized custom made atawak rotor on the front you have this amazing system just like on the previous model, but here everything is exposed. There it was covered up and you could only see it here and through a small window here. That not only made you not really appreciate how it works, but it also made it worse in the dark because all these wandering uh, hands that show the hours were most of the time covered up and only like visible when they reached to their hour, meaning they didn't get enough uh, light to get charged. With this one, everything is exposed. They actually charge much better and are more usable in the dark. Another improvement is also that here you have the running seconds. As you can see, this little triangle is actually turning, telling you that the watch is running. Now, being a Miyota 9039, like I said, you can hand, winding, but hand wind it, but just wearing it is gonna keep it powered and it does come with hacking. So as you can see, the little triangle stopped. If you wanna set the time like to the second, although they're both the same, these three prongs, so it's really not that important. 
Now let's show you the unique system of telling the time. As you can see now it's 9.30 and as you're turning this as the time passes by, this 8 actually gets flipped to be, become the 11 to follow after this 10. So once we get to 9.59, this 10 is going to take over. So 9.10.0, uh, 10.05, 10.15, but this 8 is going to become 11. So as you can see, it starts flipping and now you have the 11. So now 10.15, 10.30, 1045 and now this 9 is going to flip to become a 12. So you have three prongs with four sided pyramids on each for four sides meaning four hours. So four times three it's 12 hours so it covers all the 12 hours. Now because this is basically a Miyota 9039 that's usually powering just regular set of hands and hands are very small, very thin and very light when you attach something like this, like a whole system with three prongs and these pyramids and everything, you have to make that as light as possible as well. Otherwise, the watch is not going to have enough energy to keep, to keep powering this thing. So that's why this whole system that you see on the dial is made out of combination of aluminium and carbon fiber to make it as light as possible. So this is not just a cool gimmick to show the time. It's an actual engineering feat and that's why I actually like it. Now the case itself, as you can see, is a combination of brushed and polished surfaces with a lot of facets and I actually do like it. This has to be like the prettiest Atowak case I've seen so far. Even the Atore, which was kind of wearable because it had a very short lug to lug, had that weird like shape and it was kind of, you know, it wasn't for everyone. This even if it didn't have this pretty cool and unique system of telling the time is actually a pretty cool looking case. It looks like something from like those integrated Genta designed watches. Very nice, very cool. So even if it had like regular hands to show the time, it would be a handsome watch like this. It's a showstopper. Now, as you can see, the dial has several layers and they have this skeletonized like web design because it's called tarantula. So naturally it's inspired by the spider. Now let's try to check it out on my six and a half inch wrist because like I said, 42 millimeters by 49 and 13 should fit really well. Before we do that, I'm going to show you the sizing because this is also very cool showing you they really took care of every detail. Let me just remove this. So you have this, like I said, quick release system, fold over clasp and the sizing is done by simply taking this out and sliding it either inside or outside and aligning those two prongs with the holes in the strap. So let's say that this is my size. Once you align it, you press it down like this and you're ready to go. The cool thing about this going underside and not over is <clears throat> that if you have a small wrist like mine, once you close the watch, this extra part stays inside. As you can see where it ends, if it was going on the outside, it will be sticking out on my small wrist. Like this, it's hidden away. It's also a better way of making a rubber, uh, rubber strap than doing those things when you have this fold over clasp. Usually they will have like those where you cut them. So once you size your, your strap, you're pretty much stuck with it. If you get fat or something, you have to go buy a new one. With this one, it's usable no matter what size of your wrist is. So let's put it on my wrist and we're also gonna do the loom shot. Okay, so here it is on my six and a half inch wrist. Thanks to a short lug to lug and a classical shape, it really fits like a glove, looks pretty good. It even wears thinner than the specs would suggest. And the strap is very nice and high quality rubber. It has these vents to help you re <laughs> release extra like hot air so you don't get as sweaty as you would wearing a rubber strap. It's very comfortable, very pliable. I do like it a lot. Now when it comes to the pricing, this like I said has a series of improvements compared to the previous model which costed like $1500 having this same display system. This one is $2,500. Now it is a lot of money, but in the pre-order phase, they offer 20% discount, dropping it to, I believe, $2,000, maybe slightly over. And again, it's a lot of money, but try to Google those hyper watches I mentioned at the beginning, check out those prices. And then when you see what this thing offers, trust me, this is like, 
this is a bargain compared to those models. The crystal is sapphire, it's flush with the case. Again, something I really do like, it gives it this futuristic design. I mean, the whole case with its combination of these brushed and polished surfaces and all these facets and details is really impressive. Like I said, even if the watch didn't have this amazing uh, time-telling system, it would be a pretty cool looking watch. Anyways, let's do a loom shot. We're going to charge the watch and that's going to be it for today. Okay, here it is. So with the watch charged, we're going to let the camera focus and turn off the lights. And there we go. As you can see, the loom is pretty spectacular. Let's put my Submariner next to it. And as you can see, it's on the same level as the Submariner which is pretty impressive. They, they do use Super Luminova, that's why it glows blue just like the Submariner. And as you can see, it's pretty impressive. Very nice. And like I said, because of that design change where the actual system of telling the time is exposed the whole day, the loom is gonna get charged unlike the previous model where unfortunately because of being covered up, it usually does not charge. So we only see this first hour. Once the next one comes, it becomes invisible. So definitely an improvement over the over the previous models, including the last one, if not nothing else then because of the wearability, but also a lot of details have been addressed and this is definitely a better watch. Anyways, that's it. So I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.